Welcome back, folks. Believe it or not, we are less than three days away three days. from the biggest holiday tournament in the country. The 2017 Governor's Challenge will be here on Tuesday. That's the day after Christmas. So over 120 teams, over 10 states, two countries, 50 plus the potential Division I players, 15 nationally ranked players, all here in Salisbury. Can you believe that, man? All here in Salisbury. It's unbelievable. From the 26th through the 30th. That it's already here. But for those that are watching, single day tickets are $10 each. So not a very expensive tournament no. to attend. Week long passes are also available Even for $35. More yeah. So go ahead and get them right now. You won't want to miss this event. Yeah. And now, Trey. The thing about this event and something that I'm really looking forward to are all the local teams that yeah. are going to be participating. And I know that you and I, along with our sports team, are going to be there pretty much almost 24-7. Or as long as that tournament is running and basketball oh, is playing, yeah. we're oh, going to yeah. be there. We are there all week long. I cannot wait to get over to the Civic Center. Uh, the venues at Y High, venues at UMES, venues at uh, James Bennett. M. Bennett as well. Uh, the girls tournament is going to be really interesting to see how some of our ladies match up against some teams from out of town. Also, really what I want to uh, really want to see is how some of our teams that have fared really well and have not fared so good match up against some teams from out of town. Uh, a Y High that's undefeated, a Decatur, Steve how Decatur. they match up, and even a Pokemon, a team that hasn't won a game uh, so far, uh, how they match up against a team because Pokemon, I feel like, is a team that can win any given uh, day in the gym. Really want to see how they do up against some competition. And it's interesting because we talk to a lot of these teams and players and coaches after a lot of these games. And of course they're focusing, focusing on yeah. the game at hand <laughs> and you know their next game on the schedule. But a lot of them in the back of their heads have the Governor's yeah. Challenge right yeah. there. Some of the teams, whether or not they're in the showcase, yeah. games that are going to be coming up with some of the top, top talent. Or if they're just playing throughout the week, some of those games, they want to go. Yeah. And I know specifically one team, won't mention them, they want to go 7-0 in this Governor's <laughs> yeah, Challenge. Dude, the coolest part, I think, is that some of the players that we see and that we interview after are just as eager to see some of these other players and some of these nationally ranked players. Right. Hey, I want to see this guy. This guy's got... Match up your game. This guy, yeah, this guy's got, got looks from Kentucky. This guy's got looks from Kansas. I want to go watch this guy. Everything you want to watch is going to be at the Civic Center, uh, going to be at UMES, going to be at Y High and James M. Bennett. Like I said, our, we will be there... Uh, broadcasting live Tuesday through Friday. Tuesday through Friday uh, during our we'll news hour. We'll be upstairs, hour. so if yeah. you see us, make sure you come by and say hi. Um, and, and that's going to be a lot of fun. And then, of course, uh, next Saturday, a week from today, our DSI hour-long special uh, to recap the whole thing. The whole week. Uh, that is going to be a doozy to get ready for, but we will have it ready, uh, and we're going to have a good time with that as well. We're going to have a good time. I know you've been there before. What is your favorite part of the Governor's Challenge? As I a whole, I know the you've been there for a few years. Gotta say the competition, man. Every time you get a chance to match your team up against a team from out of town or teams that you don't normally see every single week, it's always fun and it's always good to see. I really hope the margin of victory really comes down this, this year because bit. last year we saw some really, really tough matchups. We also saw some really good games at the Cater game that we had up. Probably the best game I saw all year last year. Uh, and it happened to be in the Governor's Challenge. So, like we said, coming up on Tuesday, make sure you go get your tickets right now. We cannot wait for that. I'm ready to get it We're started excited. right now. We already also excited for schedule. the pizza. Oh, that's true. You heard. You said it's a week long of uh, of some pizza. Yeah, pizza and popcorn. We're going to be eating there. But Thanks, it's, James. It's going to be a lot of fun yeah. down there. I know a lot of word is spreading, buzz is spreading, especially for someone like Kevon Boyles. I wanted to go back to your point. Yeah. And the thing about it is that someone like him who's already committed yeah. to a Division One school yeah. is really excited <laughs> because he's going to be facing up with yeah. some of these guys as, you know, as soon as eight months from now, right. ten months exactly. from now, he could exactly. be seeing some more of these players. Exactly. And we saw a couple players last year, uh, like a Devondre Perry at the Governor's Challenge, now plays for – your team, Temple, right. you know Temple what I mean? Else. Exactly. So any kind of talent that we'll see next year, of course, we see some local guys like Corey Holden, Jordan Duffy, that are keep Kevin Aluma, that are now playing on the D1 level. We see those guys, they played in the Governor's Challenge as well. So that's pretty cool to see as well. And a lot of the things about this tournament we're going to be seeing next week. We're going to preview yes. through the holiday weekend, yes. Christmas we will do Eve. All that. We're going to do all that yes. coming up. It's going yes. to be fantastic. That's exactly right. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Of course, if you missed anything, make sure you check out our website at 47abc.com. That's right. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, of course, following 47ABC Sports. See you next week.